Hey Libra, how are you? Sorry that I'm late on your reading from last week. Um, the energy last week was super intense and the karmic, the dark energy, the shadow energy was coming up. Um, so yeah, it was quite exhausting, wasn't it? So let's go ahead and jump right into it um, with my blessing and my prayer. If you're new here, welcome. Hi. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and this is Karma Light Readings, um, and we're going to jump right into it. So if you're new, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, and if at any time this reading resonates with you, please hit the like button, as it does help with the algorithm, and it helps other Libras be able to find this reading. Um, but da -da -da, if you're interested in a uh, personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. With that being said, let's get started. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Libra in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what generational curses, karmic cycles, and soul lessons Libra may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are, in all that you do, in all that I am, in all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Okay, so the energy that spirit, I actually have to take a hit of my vape for this because it's a little intense. It was making me feel like up and down, up and like very anxiety ridden. Um, there is, yes, okay, so you're Libra. So that's why I'm seeing this decision and the scales. But I'm seeing the scales instead of them just being bad. They're literally going like this. Like there's too much going on in your, in your thought realm and it's too conflicting. They're not, you don't have the same energy flowing through you, which is why you're, you're struggling to find balance Libra. And it has a lot to do with the way you perceive things or, or, or not your, no, not how you're perceiving it, how you're, well, how you're perceiving it, but really how you're taking it in. Whatever you're you're seeing in front of you, you're not seeing it for what it really is, is what Spirit is showing me. So let's get into details. And what I mean by that is there's something in your mind that's making you see things worse than they are, or you're getting to a conclusion that is not, it's not what it is. It's, it's, it's toxic. It's too negative. Clarify, please. Holy Spirit messages for Libra. What do they need to know here? interesting energy it's almost like you don't know which way to go what do i do do i do this do i do that if you don't know what to do i'm i'm seeing like a circle of you in the middle and everything around you going black just sit by yourself don't talk to anybody else figure out yourself and then here's a full moon in libra on the bottom a win-win outcome should you focus on yourself you have hold your vision look at the bigger picture and then this one came out again. And then it's time to release negativity. So I'm telling you, there's something that's too negative. Look at this. And emotions are running high. You have a tendency here, Libra, to go straight to the negative or to think that people are against you. And it, it it's causing you to have so much anxiety and stress and it's, it's not even real, you know? And I say that with love. I know I probably just triggered somebody, but what kind of reader or friend would I be? I can't work with God and not tell you what I see. There's something that you need to release. You're holding on to a negative perception or thought pattern that's been with you for a while. And I feel like you make um, assumptions on situations that are much lower in vibration than they should be. And that causes you chaos and havoc and stress. 
Okay, because a lot of times, you know, this is when, so when I was in my heal, we're always, always in our healing journey. But when I was way back, um, I always felt like everything that everybody did was personal to me. Like, well, what do you mean you can't spend time with me? What do you mean you have something else to do? And I thought it was personal. And then I found out, sometimes I found out even years later that they weren't even like doing anything behind my back that they were just like taking care of their own life but when we're in that space of everything revolves around you because you're focused on yourself you don't see that that other people have their own life they don't have to spend every day with you so i don't know if that's you or somebody around you but there's this energy of someone who's like why are you doing that why and it's causing stress hold your vision look at the bigger picture this doesn't mean give up on what it is you want it doesn't mean throw it out the window. It means continue to stay in line with what it is you want for yourself. Hold your vision and zoom out and look at the bigger picture, right? This is you trying to establish something for yourself. Spirit is saying it doesn't matter because a win-win outcome is coming. It's going to benefit you should you release the negativity and just stay focused on yourself. So long as we stay focused on ourselves and stay in line with where we're going, whatever anyone else does, if we're focused on ourselves, whatever decisions anyone else makes, we'll be able to meet it in balance, in tune and say, oh, that has nothing to do with me. That's their own personal decision. They, they have something to do. Okay, so let's see here. Let's take a look at the exact messages detailed messages spirit for libra in regards to this situation i think sometimes libra because it gets overwhelming or stressful you do just kind of want to let go yeah see i told you there's so much anxiety and pain surrounding you three of swords you have the ace of wands okay so you're healing forgiveness and repentance this is your energy so this is you releasing that negativity because the ace of wands is pure energy and the only way you can get pure energy is by cleansing the energy and the only way you can cleanse the energy is to what give it to god heal yourself and as we say heal yourself we have the hermit there's a need for you to isolate stop running 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 stop going 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 you don't always have to have something to do you have the six of pentacles as a challenge next steps of action is the five of cups and then you have the seven of wands as the outcome overall energy on the bottom of the deck yeah you have the devil so see there's a lot of darkness toxic energy thought patterns this is you're going through a karmic lesson you're going through something that is needed but you're needing to recognize the patterns you're needing to recognize the energy that's around you there may be something that you're wanting to do with the knight of pentacles something that you're really wanting to commit to or move towards it's it's it spirit is saying let it go because there's some type of ending here with the ten of swords you have to release it to see if it's yours okay so let's take a look Holy Spirit, please tell me about this Three of Swords for the current energy of the situation with Libra. Three of Swords, please. Clarify the Three of Swords. Three of Swords. This is interesting. They're having me be precise with this, which usually I'm not when I shuffle for clarifying. Okay, three of swords and the three of wands. Again, hold your vision. That's what this three of wands is. You're heartbroken. There's pain. There's negativity. You may feel like things are slipping away from you. You're, you feel like you're getting farther away from what it is you want, right? Here's the two of wands. You're at a crossroads in your life. It's because you're going through a massive transformation to remove this eight of swords, these fears, these illusions that surround your heart and are not allowing you to see things clearly. 
you're 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 wanting to give up on something you have a vision a dream you're wanting to give up on it why pain you know i put something on my instagram from pastor keon at the lighthouse church in houston which i love i, I don't live in houston but i love that church and following it um I live out here in Vegas. I go to a church called Central, which is very good, and you can find them online as well. Um, he talks about how pain pays you. And you can find it on my Instagram. Information is in the description box below. He did a sermon on it. I suggest, Libra, that you watch this because pain has a, a value for all of us. You just have to work through it to see what is it paying you? What is it giving you? What wisdom is pain giving you? Okay, because God's power works in darkness. That's when you're not alone, right? We're never alone, but when you are at your lowest point and you're feeling hurt, know that he's there. That's when he's there because he's waiting for you to recognize him in your moments of despair so you can bring him in even stronger. All right, so you have the Ace of Wands. There's a really exciting, spark, passionate energy inside of you that's coming forward. I feel like right now it's not fully there, but it's 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 ready to go. This is a lot of lower chakra healing. Notice the colors on the card. This is all about repentance and, and removing. This could take months. Um, I have to say that, and that's okay. Healing is not an overnight thing. Connecting to God and continuing on this soul journey and discovering who you are and really changing your life, it is a permanent commitment. It is a life commitment to yourself. Okay, so with the Ace of Wands, I see forgiveness coming in. There's a new passionate opportunity here. For some of you, this could even um, involve travel or needing to move. So let's clarify the Ace of Wands. The Emperor and the Six of Pentacles with the Sun and the Six of Cups. Okay, so there's some type of reconciliation coming in or this also could just represent you with the Emperor taking control, taking action to bring in the balance that you need in your own life. I feel like a spark goes off and all of a sudden you, you realize what it is you've been holding on to. You recognize and you take control of it and that's where you shift. See, you're bringing light to wounds outside energy for you libra is the hermit so if you are separated from someone if you haven't been communicating with somebody i do see i see that with the hermit but i feel like it's necessary for both of you this is a time of introspection this is a time of needing to go within of needing to connect with yourself on a deeper level and i feel like this person is doing the same thing please clarify the hermit yep Healing about a love situation. So there is a love connection here that has ended. You have Gemini and Virgo energy here. Um, you also have Scorpio energy on the bottom. See, there was something though that was not, that was hidden in this connection. There was something that was hidden in this relationship. And you're kind of at a crossroads and so is this person as to um, how do you want to move forward? Are we going to transform this connection or is it is has it ended? It's interesting that you have the Eight of Swords though. Because this is like my imprisonment card, jail card, or just somebody who has no control over their life. They're very bound by a lot of fears and a lot of illusions. They're trying to break free from those fears and illusions when it comes to love. So maybe you've experienced some really um, awful relationships. It's nobody's fault but our own when we experience awful relationships. Even if you were abused, I am a domestic violence survivor. And let me tell you why. Once you start working on yourself and healing yourself, you recognize where you need to hold yourself accountable for staying in something too long. I didn't used to believe that. And I feel like I'm going to like push buttons. But before you comment in the comments, I highly suggest that you watch most of my lives on here and on Instagram to see how I got to this space because it's taken me four years to get to this point where I see that I allowed myself to be with people and in relationships that were not on the same vibrational frequency that I was on. So I was receiving less than what I deserved. 
I feel like you're becoming aware of that. You're becoming aware of toxic cycles in your life and you're wanting to take control. You're wanting to take charge. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen for you. That's why spirit is saying, hold your vision. Because as you pull out this toxicity, as you close out these karmic cycles and recognize where do I need more balance? Where do I need to set stronger boundaries? You're going to start to see a shift. Your challenge, six of pentacles, investing into yourself. I think that you invest a lot into outer pleasures, other people, friends, relationships, what other people want you to do. And it causes you to feel a lack. It causes you to feel off kilter and it causes you to go through moments of not understanding why you're not receiving anything. I think some of you may choose friendships, relationships um, without knowing that are depleting you. They need something from you, but they're unable. Yep, look at this. Except Queen of Pentacles is what flew out. So there is a lack of self-worth and self-care. It's not as balanced as it should be. There's a need for you to give and invest into yourself, Libra. There's a need for you to pause and take time to love yourself the way that you want to be loved. Okay, so that you can discover exactly what it is you want and where you need to go. Um... Next steps of action is the five of cups, but then you have the seven of wands. So there could be possible endings coming into place where you're realizing like, okay, I just need to um, close this out. There's some sadness in how things went down or how things were handled. But you come out on top with the seven of wands. Like you come out and your, your passion is reignited. Your fire is reignited. You're able to stand up against anything. There's not, you know, whatever these outside people are trying to say to you or think of you, it doesn't mean you're like, okay, cool, I got it. Clarify the five of cups, please, with the seven of wands. This is about you learning how to really stand on your own and put your foot down in certain situations because I see you having to be very assertive. You have the Hierophant, Temperance, and the Six of Wands. So there's victory here. Be careful though because the Six of Wands can sometimes be a little bit ego okay ego based but there's like a surrendering so i feel like this is you releasing the ego anything that comes from a negative place if you start to think something negative about a situation you're not coming from god and you're not coming from your heart you're you're in the dark and you're coming from low vibrational energy where in religions they would call that a demon okay so there's just you 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 need to make sure that where you're coming from is from your heart and it's from a higher perception that is a, of god um, Hierophant and Temperance, like I said, things are going to open up for you as you start to reveal things about yourself that you were unaware of. There's a deep healing here with Temperance of toxic past cycles, behaviors, addictions, the way you talk. I mean, everything. Big things coming into play to help you get out of a very difficult situation. You have Taurus energy and Sagittarius energy. So I see either a commitment shifting and becoming more into balance, but spirit is asking you to have patience. And I feel like this is a commitment to yourself, needing to put your pride to the side and really stay in your heart center here because there's a lack of investment in your self-worth and in yourself. That's why you feel depleted. That's why you're having a hard time. Um, and that's why you're thinking so negatively here with the devil and the full moon in Scorpio. You need to transform. Because the reason why you're having such a hard time and all over the place is because your soul has grown out of what your physical human self is now believing in. Your soul knows better. And it's urging you to break out of this toxic pattern and this toxic habit. But only you have the power to do that. All right, Libra, I'm sending you much love.